Hi, welcome to Daily Devo. My name is Bridget. I'm so glad you could join us today. Um, today we will be doing 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Uh, it's, it's a really interesting chapter. The first part of it is the, uh, the events uh, before the second coming of Jesus, but I would like to go into the last half of it. A little background about Thessalonica. Hard word to say. Um, is it was a hub city. They had a lot of people. They had ports that went into it. The only road leading to Rome, actually, for you to go to Rome, you had to go through Thessalonica. And so um, whenever the gospel got preached there and everybody started getting converted, it was big news because everybody knew uh, that they were a pagan nation under Roman rule. And so um, when they started becoming Christians, it was big news, and so a lot of people talked about it and stuff. So I thought that was really interesting. And so Paul is really thankful because every place he went, you know, they would tell him about um, the Thessalonians' faith. And so uh, it was a real encouragement to Paul. And so, but I'd like to read the last part of the chapter, uh, 13 through 16. It says, As for us, we can't help but thank God for you, dear brothers and sisters, loved by the Lord. We are always thankful that God chose you to be among the first to experience salvation, a salvation that came through the Spirit who makes you holy and through your belief in the truth. He called you to salvation when we we told you the good news you can share in the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. With all these things in mind, dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Keep a strong grip on the teaching we passed on to you both in person and by letter. Now may the Lord Jesus Christ himself, God our Father, who loved us and by his grace gave, gave, by his grace gave us eternal comfort and wonderful hope, comfort you and strengthen you in every good thing you do and say. So he was telling them to stand first firm and keep keep a strong grip on what they were taught because they were under severe persecution. And so it was important for them to just continue to stand firm in what they had been taught and not go back to their old ways. And so I think that's a word for us today, for us to stand firm and to to hold on to the teachings that we've been taught, that we know where our faith is coming from, that salvation is through Jesus Christ, and that uh, we know whose we are and whom we belong to. And so, and I think that's, there's so much chaos and so many other voices speaking to us today that I think it's it's important that we learn to stand firm. And God, then it says that um, uh, God himself, the Lord Jesus Christ himself, and God our Father, who loved us by his grace, gave us eternal comfort and a wonderful hope, comfort you and strengthen you. So he will comfort you and he will strengthen you. And so as we stand firm and keep the faith, he will he will be there to always guide you and protect you. And to always uh, be, he'll never leave you. So he's always beside you. And so I I encourage you to stand firm through all the chaos that's going on. Stand firm and just know that you know what you know. (laughs) And so, um, so let me just pray for you right now. Father, I just praise you and I just thank you, Father. I thank you that that you are with us, that you are strengthening us, that you are comforting us through all these um, times that we're in right now, Father. And I just ask that you just continue to um, continue to be with us, Father. Father, and as we stand firm on your word, that you surround us with your love and your grace and your mercy, and we can be a, um, a shining light for the people that, that um, don't know you. Father, and I just ask that you just use us, use us as vessels to um, to shine your light and to uh, make you famous. And I just thank you that that we know whose we are, whom we belong to. We know that you love us and that you've chosen us. And I thank you for that, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, I hope to see you soon. Much love. Mm-hmm.